60 minutes and have a full fuel tank. But yeah, I think they have huge blow delivered on Tyner over there. I think a lot of people look, have looked at Ohio State and, and look at them as a big, slow, methodical team. If you've watched them play the last few weeks against teams that have a, a perception of being fast, Grant lowering the boom there on Tyner, I think they've, they've not only looked good, they look very, very athletic. Third and 11, Mariota far side, and then their pass out of a duck receiver's hands. That was Stanford, he just made the tough one that was nullified by penalty. Ryan Grant defending again, fourth and 11 ducks. Clearly have to make their final stand right here. Does it the right way? 
and has meant so much to the Oregon Ducks. And, and just, their, just the, the last three years, the way he's led them, the 41 starts that he's had, and obviously his skill set is unique and special, but it's his grace to me that, that really separated him from any other player I've really ever covered. Perfectly said. Wonderful ambassador for his home state of Hawaii. As he said at the Heisman ceremony for the entire Polynesian community, and obviously for Oregon, they are short by a few inches. It is fourth down. And, and Kirk, we, we think everybody else does it. He's played his, his final game yeah. for the Ducks. This is where he began his career. He didn't play, but he was dressed when Oregon lost to LSU here. And what was eventually his redshirt season. And his career will end with disappointment. But not punish the legacy. Not at all. Jones under center. And fourth down. He may apparently have drawn the Ducks offside. Miscues were a part of this game for Oregon throughout. They didn't have the turnovers, but some crucial penalties and drop passes. Offside. Defense. Contact in the neutral zone. That's one of those. That's one of those where you save it for a certain point in the game and go hard count. You have to jump. Also need to mention the job that not just Urban Meyer has done, but his staff. Luke Fickle was under fire last year. I mean, under fire for the way his defense played at the end of the year against Michigan and Clemson. They brought in Chris Ash, the two of them, and the defensive staff. They have faced three, the three Heisman finalists in three straight games. And they've beaten all three of them. First and goal. Coaches, the linebackers as well, Kirk, one of the most improved units on this defense. They, they've really struggled in recent years, but not this group this year. No, not at all. He's a former Ohio State player. He played, started four years at nose guard. So I don't think anybody bleeds Scarlett Gray more than Luke Fickle. So I'm sure it's a big night for him and a, and a big year for him. You can see he's letting, usually tries to be very but right now, he's letting some of his emotions out. Probably been pinned up for over 12 months. It's the Buckeyes who've run off 83 plays. And as you see, DeForest Buckner, the stud defensive end for Oregon, limping off the field. They just wore down that group up front, beat them up. And Elliott had lots of room to run. Another career high, 245 yards. Let's see if they let him...
championship. He was going to have a, a national championship. This was a one-point game, 21-20, and Jones had that disastrous fumble. The Ducks seem to have momentum. Two long touchdown drives by Ohio State to reestablish control here. Seven. 